What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tool for Love Me Anyway by Pink and Chris Stapleton. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what are the songs by Pink or Chris Stapleton that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Love Me Anyway on guitar is that in order to get rid of some bar chords and keep this as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to first fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing you want to know for Love Me Anyway is the structure of this song. We're going to start out with a verse, then go to chorus, then verse and chorus chorus again, then we're going to have a bridge, and then we're going to have that chorus with a star next to it. We're going to do that one just a little bit differently. I'll explain that in just a minute. And then we're going to have one regular chorus to end the song. And the last thing you want to know for Love Me Anyway before we dive into this song is the four chords that we need to play it. The first one is D. The next one is A. The next one is B minor 7. And the last one is G. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Love Me Anyway. Man, this is such a beautiful song. This song is actually based pretty much completely on piano, strings, and bass. There's really not a lot of actual guitar in this song. So most of what we're going to be trying to do in this lesson is kind of mimic what's being played on the piano. So with that in mind, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the verse, because that's the first thing that we hear in the song. For the verse, our chord progression is going to be D, A, B minor 7, and G. And we're actually going to have a picking pattern for this. What this picking pattern is going to contain is what's called a bass note. And if you don't know what a bass note is, all it is is the lowest note of whatever chord you're playing. So a quick little walkthrough of the chords we have for this song and the bass notes for those chords. We have D. Our bass note for D is going to be on our D string. We have A. Our bass note for A is going to be on our A string. For B minor 7, our bass note is going to be on our A string again. And then for G, our bass note is going to be on our low E string for that chord. And that's all of the bass notes that we'll use for this song. So with that in mind, our picking pattern for this is going to be this. What we're going to do is we're going to go B string, bass note, four times for each chord. So just like this, B string, bass note, B string, bass note, B string, bass note, B string, bass note, and switch. And that's what we're playing for that for each chord. So a quick little walkthrough of what that'll look like for each chord. We'll start here with our D chord. We'll go B, D, B, D, B, D, B, D. We go to our A chord. B, A, B, A, B, A, B, a, we go to our B minor 7, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, we go to our G, B, E, B, E, B, E, B, E. And that is exactly what's going to play over and over again throughout our verses and also actually that special chorus at the end with the star next to it. So the second to last chorus, that's what's going to play as well. Same thing in the verses as what's in the verses is going to be played on that second to last chorus with the star next to it. And what this is going to do is that's going to match up with that cool, really, really beautiful piano part that plays throughout all of our verses. So guys, with that in mind, what we're going to do is we're going to run through that once very slowly so that you can see exactly what's going on over here and over here. And we'll run through it a couple of times full speed so you can match it up with the speed of the song. So slowly a couple times first we'll look about like this. And guys, a couple of times full speed through the picking pattern that we'll be playing for the verses and the second to last chorus on Love Me Anyway will look about like this.
And from there, guys, we're into what's being played for our choruses. For our choruses, we're gonna have the same chord progression, D, A, B minor seven, and G, same as our verses. And what we're gonna be doing for this is actually gonna be a strum pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do eight down strums for each chord. But what we're gonna do for those is we're gonna start them really soft and we're gonna build them up. So what I mean by that is we're gonna start really soft. Here's our D chord, for example, we're gonna go. And you'll hear how the volume kind of increases, increases, the volume and intensity increases and increases kind of towards the end of our eight down strums. So down, 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 down for each chord, kind of like that. So that's kind of what we want to do. That's kind of what the feel of the song is. It kind of gets a little bit more intense at the end of each of those chords. So guys, kind of a little walkthrough of that. Again, we go down, 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 down. So you can kind of see what we're doing is just kind of starting really soft with each of those chords and picking up the intensity as we kind of get towards the end of our strum pattern. So guys, a couple of times all the way through that chorus chord progression with that chorus strum pattern will look about like this. And finally guys, the last thing that you need to know to play Love Me Anyway is the bridge. For the bridge, our chord progression is going to be B minor 7, A, G, and G again. And what we're going to be doing for strum pattern for the bridge is going to be four down strums for each chord. So about like this. Here's our B minor 7. We're going to go about like, and then switch, and into our G, and then again. So we're playing that G for two measures. And that's it, guys. I believe, if I remember right, we play through that chord progression twice, and then that's the end of the bridge. And then we go into that chorus, that chorus, that special chorus that's the end of the, uh, plays the same way that as a verse does, if I remember right. So again, one more time, we got. About like that. So guys, a couple of times through that bridge chord progression with that strum pattern, without me talking, we'll look about like this. And guys, that is everything you should need to know to play Love Me Anyway on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 680 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what song I'm jamming on today or pictures of my dog, you can hit up my Instagram story at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, I absolutely love this song. It's so beautiful. I'm actually, to be completely honest with you guys, not usually a huge fan of Pink. I think a lot of her music is it's just a little overproduced for my personal taste. Not all of her music, and I'm definitely not trying to trash talk her. She's super talented. It's just not my usual taste. But this song, I absolutely love. Because, and I think that's, again, to go back to the overproduced thing, this song is very, very, like, bare bones. It's piano, it's a little bit of bass, and a little bit of strings throughout the entire song. And that is it. And what's cool about that is that it really highlights Pink and Chris Stapleton's vocals and really just showcases their vocals. And I like that a lot. 
beautiful song, very beautifully written. Like I said, this song is mostly based on piano, so most of what we're doing on guitar is trying to mimic what's being played on piano in the actual song. So we've got that picking pattern for our verses, we've got a cool kind of building strum pattern for our choruses that kind of matches up with the chords that are being played on the piano and that building kind of vibe. And then again for the bridge, we just have that same little chord progression and strum pattern that we're using for that. Really simple basic for the bridge. But anyways guys, again this is a beautiful song. I've been loving listening to and jamming on this song. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning this song. Hope you have as much fun learning it as I did. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.